Hello, last week I showed you how to use this 80 by 160 pixels IPS display and today I have even better 240 by 240 display. Uh, these displays are affordable and they look great. You can use them with Arduino but I always recommend ESP32 because price and speed. I made this little example, you can use it to confuse your friends. <laughs> this is of course simple animation, but maybe someone will really think that you installed Windows XP to this board. Of course blue screen of that is always near. Code is in description, feel free to play with it. Also here is currency converter. This is internet project because ESP32 gets exchange rates from internet using API. You can set default currency, right now defo default currency is US dollar. Feel free to play with code, code will work with any TFT display. Uh, I'm using this ESP32 board because many people already own this and this is one of cheapest and oldest ESP32 board. And here is display. Display came in this nice plastic box. So you don't need to afraid that it will be broken in shipping process. Of course you will need library. I always use TFT SPI library. It is very easy to install. You can find it in library manager. As you can see, library is very easy to install, but uh, still we will need to make modification because this library supports lots of board. Also, we will need to adjust pins because we don't want to that our project looks messy. Okay, library is... Okay, we installed our library and now we need to make some modification in library files. So you will go to your Arduino Arduino folder, my documents, Arduino, libraries, and here you will find TFT SPI library. Here it is. So, in uh, this file, user setup select, you will need to comment this line and uncomment setup 24 line include setup 24 so you will need to comment this line this will be default line which is uncomment you will comment it and uncomment user setup 24 of course you will need to save it and then you need to go to user setups you will find setup 24 okay i will open with notepad and you will need to set up pins like this So, 5, 2, 15, 16, and 4. This part is important. Check description. I will, I will probably post this file there so you can just download it. Along in a code folder. 
and that's it you now just need to upload code to your board feel free to use uh, my code I hope that you learned something from this video feel free to feel free to check more information from description feel free to subscribe to buy me coffee if you want that's it have a nice day and I hope that your friends will love your Windows XP ESP 32 slash I, I don't know goodbye have a nice day